until about um, the late 1940s, through the history of mankind, all babies with dire hernia, or almost all, died. They died because um, it wasn't recognized fast enough and there was no means to repair it. Over the years, with uh, better intensive care, better means of ventilation, the advent of extracorporeal membrane oxygenation or ECMO, uh, and prenatal diagnosis, uh, the baby's chances, those with diaphragmatic hernia, have improved. Once a baby's born, there's a wide range of possibilities in how they'll behave. Some don't even need mechanical ventilation for very long, and they have their repair, and they um, start to eat, and they go home, and they're fine. We have some infants who struggle, uh, need mechanical ventilation for prolonged periods, may have pulmonary hypertensive crises and be on medications and ECMO. Those infants sometimes are with us for many months. Simone was in the NICU for um, eight weeks from the time she was born. I was very thankful to Ronald McDonald House that we were able to stay there and within walking distance be able to get to Simone at, at any time. Every set of parents who are dealing with this want to know what the baby's chances are. It's overall 70% survival. Um, a huge part of our, our program is aimed at making that number higher. A huge part of our program is aimed at making those that do survive um, great kids. <laughs>